It's Liz Manto from WIRK. We're in North Tonawanda at Remington Tavern and Seafood Exchange. Yeah, it might be miserable outside, but let's go inside, dry off, warm up, and grab a beer. Hey, it's Liz Mantel from WIRK. It's another episode of Behind the Pine. Headed to the North Towns today to Remington Tavern and Seafood Exchange right here on the canal. Very excited to be here. Uh, Peter from Remington and, of course, Matt from Great Lakes. And we're drinking Conway's right now to kind of cheers to the last of the season, right? Cheers. Absolutely. Cheers. Get That's good. It's delicious. It's a fun time. Uh, let's start with the, I think uh, in all the episodes we've done, this, this might be the coolest building that Thank we've you. come to. And the history of it uh, is also just so fascinating. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about it? Uh, yeah, the building goes back to the late 1800s. Uh, it was originally known as uh, Powerhouse Number no. 4. Uh, actually, in about 1927, the Herschel Spillman Company uh, purchased the building. Remington Ramp purchased it uh, later on. They made typewriters. Up to that, it was several manufacturing places uh, until it was re revived in about 2010 and we opened in 2012. And not only is the space just historically cool, I mean, everything that you've done in here, down to the light fixtures, are just, it's that, it's that modern yet industrial feel that seems to be the big thing right now. Yeah. I think that that's exactly what the owners were going for. They they are very meticulous in, in, in their design and in, in service and in the food and everything in the building is no different. They wanted to you know maintain uh, the historical nature of the building, add a few modern touches, but you know keep it classic. I think it's the most important thing. And not just how it looks, but the location of it. You've got just an amazing view of of the canal, and I can imagine in the summertime that patio is pretty popular. It's it's the hottest seat in Western New York. Tables open in the dining room, and people would rather wait wait to sit on the patio. We have people that come in like up till 10, 11, right, right before we close at 11 o'clock at night with a boatload full of people, and they'll just walk right up. And then I have the same people that have spent all day out on the boat that will call <laughs> me before the restaurant's open and say, hey, Pete, can you save me some bar stools? And I'll just where I'm unlocking the door a half an hour before we're technically open so it's awesome i'm sure though it's not just the view that brings people in you've got a pretty cool menu as well the menu is great they work very hard on it as you know we're, we're a chef-owned uh restaurant so it's very very food driven and in service driven mark and paul our two owners are great uh they take a great interest in this uh it's diverse it's not just seafood uh also we have a lot of steaks chicken dishes pasta dishes as well dinner features every night uh beetles burgers and beer great for the music on uh, Monday nights as well. We have an oyster happy hour uh, every Tuesday where you can get a, a dozen oysters for $15. And we have the raw bar open seven days, seven days a week from open to close. And the variety is, it's different every day. That's amazing. That really, and, and another draw is obviously, um, you know, the bar and the selection that you can go and, and the beer. Obviously, Great Lakes is yeah. here. And uh, oysters go with? Oysters go with our blackout stuff really well. <laughs> um, also, I mean, if you can use some of the mignette sauce and some hot sauces on it, you get one of our IPAs, also going to go really well. But, you know, uh, the one thing that we love about this place is, like you guys were talking about, we love the fact that it's, you know, a reused space, mm -hmm. similar to Great Lakes. You know, we, we're, we're in an old neighborhood. We took over some old buildings, repurposed them. We're using them now to create, you know, all our products out of it, as well as our brew pub there. So we have that in common, uh, a good use of reuse space and to actually bring it back to life again so people can continue to enjoy it for years to come. And that's what we love about the Remington Tavern. And that's why, why we love being a partner with them. I think it's great because Great Lakes was a big part of the revitalization of that Ohio City area. Area of Cleveland and we're mm -hmm. seeing that now in Buffalo the revitalization and how important it is to maintain the history but also not just let it sit there right. just because it's historic right. so that's right. absolutely great uh, uh, another great thing that uh, that you guys have is your live music you've been telling us about that's that absolutely our live music's been a great draw for us ever since we decided to do a Mondays we do uh, Frank Gersante uh, and Gino McManus uh, for uh, Beatles Burgers and Beers. It's amazing, it's been a great draw for us. You can hear it throughout the dining room uh, for summer. The music is piped out onto the patio so you don't miss a beat if you're out on the outside. Uh, Wednesdays, we're gonna have uh, Mike DeSanto and uh, Ali Critelli for soul, Seafood and Soul. And on both nights, uh, the, you know, they're more than willing to play your, the song that you like or you want to hear. So like your menu, there's a variety. Absolutely. There's something for everyone in <laughs> the there, right? Of life is <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much for having us. Summer is 
fast approaching and you've got everything that someone would need. You've got the food, you've got the view, uh, you've got the space, and of course you've got the beer. So thank you so much for having us. Can't wait to spend some summertime here. Good to have you. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Spilled it all over me. <laughs> <laughs> Found to happen. Uh